Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is EB, the original master here, and today I have a very special video regarding for today on Monday, July 24th. But um, before I begin with this little special announcement that I would like to give you guys is that um, I am not making any SpongeBob Roblox videos this week. I have decided to take a week off of videos regarding to SpongeBob Roblox, and I've decided to do episode 43 next week. So with that taken care of, I want to let you guys know that today, under my EB the Sponge Clipper channel, I actually had a word with Vincent Waller. If you guys don't know who this guy is, he is the supervising producer and a cartoonist for SpongeBob SquarePants, um, and he's been working on the show for years, and I actually had a word with him in the comments of his channel. So if you guys don't know, Vincent Waller uploads storyboards of, of season 10 episodes, such as Rory Brains, he also uploaded Mimic Madness, um, The Getaway, Lost and Found, etc. So um, we actually had a nice hearted conversation under my EB the Sponge Clipper channel, and he actually gave me the link of the programs that they use to make these episodes. And this is really amazing because I'm actually am getting information from the people behind spongebob and it's pretty interesting so i'll put the link of this program that they used in the name of toon boom so toon boom is actually this really popular program that many animators use for storyboards for televisions medias and film so um they actually um had behind the scenes of this under Vincent Waller's channel, and this, and he's a pretty cool guy, pretty cool guy, Ashley surprisingly commented on one of my replies that I sent to him, so if you guys are not familiar with him, please subscribe to Vincent Waller, I'll put his channel link in the description below, even though he's not uploading videos at the moment, he still is commenting on your, on his videos, replied by many viewers like you. So, yes, this was a pretty interesting experience having to talk with the people behind Spongebob and telling them about information about the show. And I'm surprised that he wasn't afraid to tell us that. I mean, I would really like to tell him why they can't accept fan ideas, but that's already been taken care of and I just have to let that slide. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. Um, subscribe to Vincent Waller um, and I'm going to also put a link. Wait, I don't know what happened to his Twitter, but um, a little heads up. Um, when I was um, in the process of struggling to create a Twitter, um, Vincent Waller actually had a Twitter account that had a post regarding to the sports promotion and the lot and the spin the bottle promotion. But um, when I created this new account under at EB the original one, um, his profile kind of changed. I'm not sure that's his official one, but. I might have to have a word with him about that if he ever comes contact to replying to his comments on his videos. But with that said, that's all I want to let you guys know that I actually had a one-on-one -on -one experience with the people behind SpongeBob, Vincent Waller. He's a pretty cool guy, and I wish him all the good luck in SpongeBob and other shows to come. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Sayonara.